Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I have a quick Luminar 4 tip for you. So I have seen this question asked numerous times on different forums and things and that is how do you add a watermark in Luminar? So there's no direct watermark feature in Luminar and unlike say Lightroom you can't add a watermark on export however there are a couple of workarounds none of these are particularly ideal but I am going to show you how I would go about doing it. So the most obvious way is probably just to use an image layer and load in your watermark and then scale it down. But the problem with that is if you want something that is repeatable, so something that you can say apply to lots of different images, uh, you want to be able to do this in the easiest way possible. And if you're using an image layer, there's no way to either A, save it as a look, or B, you can't even copy and paste layers between images. It's one of the limitations of the software and it's a bit frustrating, but there we have it. So what I've done is I've come up with a way to do this that makes it as uh, quick to do as possible when using on lots of images. So what I'm going to do is show you how to set this up so that you can then save it as a look and then you can apply it to multiple images. And I'm going to go through the whole process and because people keep giving out anytime I do long intros, let's just dive right in. So the first thing you need to do is you actually need to prepare your watermark file and that is because the way this will work inside Luminar, you need to kind of have it already positioned. So let me pop over to Photoshop because that's what we're going to use. Okay, so here's just my signature. That's what I normally use as a watermark when I'm posting images online. And what I want to do is create a basically a blank image with the watermark in the correct position where I want it to be on output. So you want to basically choose a file that is kind of big as the image that you're most likely going to be using. So if you're using something like a really high resolution camera, you'll need to pick an image size that sits that. Um, because kind of the highest thing I use is a 24 megapixel, I'm just gonna go with 6,000 by 4,000 because that's kind of the average size. Okay, so here we have our new image and I'm just going to invert that because what we need is white on black. Um, and this is very important. Unfortunately, Luminar does not support alpha channels, so we're going to have to use a blend mode to get this to work. So here is my signature, and I'm just going to copy this into my new document. And I'm just going to drop it in, and it's a bit small, so I'm just going to scale it up. And I'm just doing this rough for this demonstration. You probably want a better uh, quality watermark than I'm using here, but this will do just for the demonstration. So this is where I normally like to keep my watermark on images. I just kind of kind of like to keep it fairly unintrusive. So I like to keep it just my signature down the bottom right hand corner of the image. Okay, so that's literally all we need to do. So we need to now save this as a JPEG file. So just go file, save as, you could use the export either, but this is just fine for this. And we want to select JPEG and then just put it somewhere. So call this watermarks okay and call it and I'm going to call it watermark horizontal now another problem with this method is you kind of need to do this for one for horizontal images and one for vertical images and again I know some people are going to be angrily typing in the comments that oh this is way too much effort and yes you're absolutely right this is a lot of effort but once we have it set up it's fairly easy just to apply. So a little bit of effort here will kind of go a long way in the future. So now now that I've done that, I'm just gonna pop back over to Luminar. So, so the next thing you want to do is start with an image and you wanna make sure there's nothing applied to it. So no adjustments or anything. So I'm gonna hop over to the edit module here and then I'm gonna go down the bottom and I'm just gonna go reset adjustments, except I don't need to because it's already reset. So you just want to make sure there's nothing applied to it and that will be very important and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is pop over here to the creative tab because we are going to use texture overlay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to set this up first and this isn't actually how we're going to apply it to this image. So it doesn't matter what image you're using at the moment. Um, so I'm going to go load texture and then we want to select the file we just saved, watermark horizontal open this up and now you can see it's grayed out the image and the file has come in down the bottom here so that's not what we want so now what we have to do is in the texture overlay panel all you have to do is just set blend mode to screen 
that's still not right. So the most, the next important thing that you do here is set opacity to 100. And that's actually quite important because the way the different modes work and whatnot, um, just trust me, <laughs> you need to set it to 100. Okay, and we can now actually adjust this as well by just turning the brightness up. So we can set that up full. Now, if you may want to adjust the opacity of that, and we're going to do that in the next step. But again, as I said, we're just setting this up first. So this is important that you have both of these set to 100. Okay, so next thing we want to do is save this as a look. So go save new look, and we'll call this watermark horizontal. Save. So now you can see we have watermark horizontal down here in our custom user looks. Okay, in most cases, if you're working in Luminar, the chances are you've already done some edits to an image. So I'm just going to go to another image here. You can see I've used AI Enhance on this, and I've put a vignette on it, and I can do some other things too, like I can say maybe add some details. With the details enhance, oh no, that's a bit horrible. <laughs> With the details enhancer, and I could do other things too, like I can turn up, I can use, say, AI Structure or whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So whatever you have applied to your image, if I was to now apply this watermark, um, it would wipe over that and reset it. So what you do is go to the Layers panel and just go Add New Adjustment Layer and then just select your watermark file and give this a second. Okay, and it's now added our watermark and we can now just adjust this with the adjustments amount. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So the only other thing you need to do is you need to basically do this again with a portrait image. Um, if you're using non-standard image sizes, you kind of that's where you're kind of into a bit more of a gray area. As I said, the other way to do this would be to add your image as a layer. But the problem with that is you, you can't save it as a preset or as a look. So every time you were to go to apply this to an image, you'd have to go add new layer, locate your preset file, add it, adjust the blend mode, adjust the position and everything else. And that would take quite a bit of time. Whereas with this, all you have to do is add a new layer and then apply the preset. And that's it, that's all you have to do. And then if you don't want your watermark, you can just turn it off by doing that. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to it. I know it's kind of a long-winded and a bit of a hack, but again, unfortunately, there is no way to add a watermark file in Luminar directly. There's no watermark function. So you are gonna to have to kind of think about it laterally in order to get the best kind of workflow for doing this. Um, the other solution is to use um, a separate program for doing it. Um, so either once you've exported your images from Luminar, open them in Photoshop and apply the watermark there, or you could use some other software. Um, one that I like to use is uh, an application called Photobulk. Um, and Photobulk uh, will let you watermark, it'll batch watermark files and you can do other things like scale them and compress them and things like that. So. Again, just a quick tip for Luminar, and I hope you have found this useful. So if you do, please like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to check out my Patreon page. And once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. <music>